M-I-C-K-E-610, hello. All right, let's get, Mike is on. Let's go, let's go to window because I'm going to be bouncing back and forth between the editor and the game. Our launch just subscribed it tier one for seven months. Currently on a seven month streak. Awesome. Appreciate everybody taking time out of their day and stopping in. Alright, so I want to I want to finish up Mod Pack 2 and start and, and then I've started Mod Pack 3, but I found a couple more things I want to do with Mod Pack 2. So we're gonna backtrack to Mod Pack 2 for a bit. And then I'm gonna jump onto Mod Pack 3. Now we built Mod Pack the dairy mill for Mod Pack 2 to go with the orchards and the greenhouses. But as Dixie pointed out, we're not giving it any fuel. We're giving it boxes because all your products comes out on boxes, but we're not giving the factory a fuel to burn. So I think I'm going to add some coal to this factory as well. So let's throw some coal in here. Oh, if my mouse wants to click in the right spot today. So we'll throw some coal there. and Let's just make it like 10, 10%. You got plenty of coal on the map. And then we're going to have to add coal down here. So I'm going to be jumping back and forth a little bit today. So we have coal as an input there. We have coal as an input there. We have to add coal into our unload trigger. And we have to add coal into our storage capacity. So we'll throw some coal in here as well. So we're going to have the first production line is milk, salt, boxes, and coal. We're going to get butter, cheese, whipped cream, sour cream, and then a little bit of hydrogen and oxygen to make more water with. And then the second production line, milk, sugar boxes, cocoa, and coal. We're going to get chocolate, yeast, and then a little bit more hydrogen and oxygen so you can make a little bit more water if you don't want to cart water around manually. Um, everything else looks good. So let's save that. And then let me zip this back up and throw out my mods folder so we can retest it. Oh, where's my mods folder? Do I have my mods folder open? I do. Let's copy that and we'll throw it in here. So that'll be the dairy done. So the dairy should be done. The orchards and greenhouses are done. The, let's just go back here one second. So the dairy's done. The uh, greenhouses are done. The two orchards are done. The produce storage is done. So we can s store all of our pallets. And then I have a last minute, well, I've got two last minute additions I want to try. I, I hate the way the in-game mechanic works for growing grapes and growing olives. I want to see if we could build a placeable olive orchard and vineyard where <laughs> you could be, you can go the, I'm going to call it the lazy way for doing grapes and olives. So I don't have to put them down and mulch them and do all that crap with them on the map. Um, so let's go to, what do we want to build first? Let's try the grove. Uh, yeah, let's try, let's experiment with the olives first. So I'm going to come back a step. Let me grab one of my orchards. Let's grab one of the orchards. I have to make some slight changes to it. I'm going to get rid of the trees so we have just the base to work with 
and we're going to go file export uh, what do we want to do first? Let's do the Grove first. So let's call it the Grove. Now I'm going to close out without making any changes to it so I don't mess up my orchard. Let me just open it and make sure I didn't mess it up. Sassy one, good morning. So what do you have in the crock pot? Barbecue chicken. My uh, sister, her husband, and my sister... My niece, my sister's daughter, just bought a house. They just closed on a house last week, and it's an older home. So they've got to rip out all of the paneling, uh, the carpeting. They're going to rip the kitchen out. So they're going to be working over there all day. So I threw chicken in the crock pot, barbecue chicken in the crock pot, and then I'm going to make some uh, loaded baked potatoes and green beans. So when they come home after working all day, the dinner will be done. So, I am free for a couple hours to build some stuff. All right, let's go back into the Grove. I'm going to open up another window. Because you, I, you know me, I love having windows open. We're going to go into Orchard 1 because that's what we're building it off of. I need to grab this the mod description and the XML. So let's copy those over to here. So that gets us started on the all the files we need. So let's open this up. Oh, why is my phone blinging already? Alright, that can wait. Alright, so create a plane just to get us something to work on go up on my speed a little bit all right so let's create uh, so let's create another transform group let's go edit cut throw it in visuals edit paste and we'll drop it like right there. Dixieland, howdy. Uh, all right, so let's throw it there. Let's call it, uh, it doesn't matter. We can call it trees even though they're not trees, they're vines. Let's go file, import. Let's bring in one of the olive plants. So let's go edit, cut, and paste. Yep, we'll start it right there. Uh, let me move it over a little bit. So as soon as we get the first one done, then we can duplicate them. Let's get ourselves a row of olive trees. So if you don't like doing olives, the in-game way, and if you don't like doing grapes the in-game way, I'm going to include these in with the orchards and greenhouse pack. If we can get it working. Oh, spacing is about perfect. Alright. So now let's grab this transform group. Uh, sassy one, I'm all for that. Yeah, I don't. I hate the way I hate the mechanics for the olives and the um, grapes in 22. All right, that wash tub may have to move. No, maybe not. We could probably work right around it. Uh, that'll work. Uh, been really interesting to see how all the map makers are putting different crops in their maps. Yes. All right, let's give that a quick save. All right, now I need to go file, import, 
let's import in it doesn't matter seeds or fertilizer yeah all right so I'm gonna grab two things I need out of here I need the silo and the pipe if I can get the silo out of here uh, where's my visuals? I think the silos are uh, three. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna be able to pull this silo out. It's in three different pieces, I think. Yeah, it's silos in three different pieces. So you got the base, the top, and the. Well, I'm. Well, let me. Let's just pull it out and rebuild it. Let's grab the base. Let's go edit, cut, and paste. Let's see if I can't get the other parts to spawn in right on top of it. Now if I go the midsection, if I go edit, cut, and paste and put it right on top, yeah, we're going to have to rebuild them a little bit. That's all right. Let's grab the top. And let's, uh, yeah, let's grab the top and let's go edit, cut, and paste. Now it should you move as one unit. All right, so this tub is going to need to go. And then the bathtub, I don't know if I'm going to be able to reuse it or not. Let's see if we can just slide it over for now. Oh, not that one. This guy. Uh, yeah. Let me get it out of my way for now. We might be able to put it back. Let's grab the base. We're going to make it smaller. But I want to see if I can get it rebuilt together, together first, this one unit. Let's pull this guy down. And then let's pull the top down. And then I think I can make it smaller now. So let's go like 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.7. We, had, we need a pipe for the olives and grapes to come out of. We may have to take that one fence down so we have room to drive through here. All right, so this section of fence, delete that. This section of fence, oh, let's delete that one as well. And let's pull the silo back a little bit. Sounds like someone came into the house. I need to pop my head out in a, in a second to see what he's barking at. And then the wash tub. Can we get it back over here? Yeah, we'll just flip it this way. Looking forward to hemp is coming to the map so we can get s something to smoke. Yeah, I'm not going to mess with any more fill types in this map because it's an automatic new game save. But we'll, we're gonna, we'll, we can look at some extra fruits for the um, this 16x map like Dixie mentioned. Let's push this back up just a little bit more. This way we can drive, you should be able to drive through there to drop your product off. I may take this down even just a little bit smaller. Yeah, let's go. Let's go like 0 0.6. 0 0.6. And I could push it back a little bit further. And we could still have the opening in the fence. Must have been somebody drove through the alley. And then the other thing I need is the unload pipe from here. The discharge pipe. So let's cut that out of there. So edit, cut, 
and paste. So let's spin this guy to zero. I'll probably make him a little bit smaller. Yeah, we got to make him a little bit shorter. So I don't want him sticking out the back of the silo. No, we're good. Okay. So that'll get us our discharge pipe. And then we also need the trigger, the discharge trigger. So let's come back down here and let's grab the loading station. And let's go edit, cut, and paste. And then I can get rid of everything else that's left from that factory. And we'll get this guy lined up. Just make it invisible so I can see. And this way we can get it lined up better. Alright, that's better. Uh, let's turn you back visible. Alright. So that should be everything we need for physically in here. Oh no, see now we can get rid of the pallet spawner because these are not on pallets, so the pallet spawner can go. We don't need any of that. Which means the loading trigger, the, the warning stripe, I'm just going to turn invisible because they still have to stay in the map or they'll throw an error. So let's take this guy. So now we can make this guy a little bit smaller in width. Because we have no pallets, the they should be bulk fill. So now we're, let's look at our clear area. Uh, so start. I need to leave there width. Yeah, we can bring width in a little bit here. And in our level area, we could do the same thing. We can bring. Okay, that one has to stay. Okay, so level area two can stay. Level area three, I think, was for this side. I think level area three I can get rid of. No, I can't. So level area three can go. Let me go see what he's barking at. I'll be right back. Absolutely freaking nothing. All right, so this should be all the physical work done. Well, we're going to need a new photo as well, so let's get that taken care of. So let's take the plane. We'll make it invisible. Grab our screenshot. Uh, let's make that visible again so I can remember to delete it. Alright, so that should be all most of our physical work done. Alright, so we're gonna take our grove and we're let's did I miss the alright, so all of I'm done with, let's delete that. I'm going to need to grab, where's our orchard one? Miss the photo. Let's copy that. Let's bring it over. 
let's rename it icon for the grove and then let's get that rebuilt so it's no longer orchard one so let's cut that out open up yet another window open with uh, paint.net. Alright, let's see if I can't crop this down a little bit smaller. Oh, it's got this... Uh, hang on, i got to go take a different picture. It's got the discharge node in it. So let's grab a different picture. Let me make that invisible. This, yeah, that's better. Let me make this invisible. And let's try that again. Right, let me turn that back to visible so I don't miss it. And let me turn this back to visible so I don't miss it. And now we need a different picture. I need this one. instead of that one. Alright, that's better. So let's copy that over to here. And let's try and get some of the background out of here. Uh, I don't like that. Don't like that. Let's take this down. Cut it out in pieces. Uh, that should be fine. Let's go color picker yellow. So this will be an olive grove. Oh, okay, why am I not typing? What did I miss? I have no idea. Olive Grove. Let's put it down here. I'll save that. Alright, so our store icon is done. I, I um, just wanted to take a quick peek at chat. like Alpha Prom and Dixie are chatting for about okay so I'll, all right so that's done that's done mod description we need to change orchard one and let's replace it with uh, grove oh wrong one darn it let's try that again search replace bottom one grove Our star photo is Grove. And then we're going to change our XML to Grove. So that should be the mod description done. So let's rename this to Grove. And so Orchard 1 becomes Grove and then here we have to change our store photo and we have to change our i3d which I what did I name it just Grove I did so 
let's save that and now this becomes easy we can get rid of production line 2 uh, actually no that has to go back we need to get rid of these and we need to make this one olive and we need to get rid of these and we need to make this one olive because the first line will you can use manure the second line you can use compost so we'll call this olive call that olive this has to be olive 2 and this becomes olive and then we have to get so our inputs going to be water manure compost herbicide that's not going to change we're going to get rid of the pallet spawner because we're not spawning pallet pallets out so that has to go third level area has to go so that one has to go so let's get rid of level area three we have to get rid of all of our pallet spawners and then we have to add in oh, so hang on I gotta make one more change here so banana this has to go this has to go that has to go this one becomes olive save that and now I need to add in let's open up um, orchard one because I now I have to grab oh that has a pallet spawner I can't use orchard one I need to use fertilizer station now we have to add our all of our loading we have to add the loading station in in place of the pallet spawner So this is going to dispense olive instead. And then we also need everything for loading station, which I believe is 0 and 2. It is. So I need everything is 0 and 2. moved over to here we'll come back in and double check the i3d mapping here in a second uh, I have got how to add languages to placeables but it's not possible now to do to the map I'm not sure how to do the extra languages in 22 because there's no I think you have to create a 110 and file hook it to the placeable mod description and then put all the extra languages in there but I'm not a hundred percent sure So let me make sure it's olive and not olives plural. Um, control find. Is it olive or olives? I believe it's olive singular. Let me get back up to the top to the fill types. Yeah, it's olive singular. Okay. So olive is there. So we're storing it, we're discharging it and we're making it let's look at our i3d mapping all right so our selling station none of that has changed 
Uh, so none of that has changed. AI, loading trigger, AI unload, none of that has changed. Storage should not have changed. So player trigger, player trigger marker did not change. So we're down to loading station. What's the first one I need? Loading trigger. Yep, these are all going to change. So let me copy that and put it in here. So these just go to a 4 instead of a 2. And then we should have the loading node. we got to move the trigger marker. Uh, let's save that. And let's get the trigger marker out of the middle of the uh, middle of the grove. Uh, so that should be done. We didn't mess with the clear area. We didn't mess with the level area. We didn't mess with anything else. So everything else should be the same. Teleport node. Yeah, everything else should be the same. All right, let's delete the plane and save it. Let me just go through here one more time, make sure I didn't miss anything. Grove, Grove, that's done. Oh, I didn't change the brand on the other ones. I'll have to come back in and change the brand. That's all right. Uh, Grove is done there. We have our marker triggers are going to be a little bit different. Marker triggers are going to be a little bit different. All right, let me grab this mess from here for a minute. Let me copy it over to here. So the marker, marker loading. All right, so the marker loading should be here. No, you're the marker loading because that's where we load the product from. So marker loading should be 0 and 4 and 1. So we have marker loading 0, 4 and 1. OK, so now we need marker unloading. So we should have marker unloading 0, 0, and 3. We don't have it. We don't have it registered. So I need marker loading this guy moved over to here. Wait, I have marker loading. Hold on. Okay, no, sorry. The first one was marker loading. I need marker unloading. I need marker unloading moved over. This one. I was right. Okay, let's copy it. Let's paste it over. And it was 0, 0, and 3. So you are 0, 0, and 3. So our marker loading is there. And then we should have a player trigger marker. We have our player trigger marker. And that one we already checked. So this can now go. Let me make sure. I don't think I need this. I'm going to turn it off. And if we don't need it, I'm going to delete it out. So the warning stripe I should no longer need. Player trigger we still need. So this one can now go. We have our new one. Let's save that. I think we're good. Let's zip this up. Oh, hold on. Let me make sure this is saved and closed. Let me make sure I have no texture issues. We don't. Now let me zip it up. All 
Alright, let's grab this guy and let's throw it in here. Check on chat, I'm good. Alright, let's jump into my s test map. Alright, so save game four. We should now have a grove. Olive grove. Alright, let's see if it works or if it's going to throw any errors. And if we get the olive grove working, we can get the vineyard working. And that'll complete mod pack one. And I can get it to. I got to. Well, I've got to update my map and then I can get my map version 1.2 to Dixie along with Mod Pack 2. Because she's going to need the updated map before she can test it. Hope everyone's having fun on the map. Okay, why is this taking forever to load? Because I keep adding factories to it. <laughs> okay, that took forever to load. I'm going to check the log really quick, make sure I've got nothing throwing blue errors. So I was building some pallets this morning. All right, something's the fast bailers throwing errors. Well, the fast bailers throwing a warning. Okay, that's no big deal. All right, map is still error free. All right, let's let me go sh grab some speed. Let's head over here. I think this is where the rest of our orchards and greenhouses are. And then let's grab if it will load without any errors should be under the greenhouse tab. It is. So let's grab up the olive grove. Let's spin it around. And let's take a peek at this. We have our loading trigger. We have our unloading trigger. That's got to come down a little bit. That's up too high. And we got to fix our info trigger because we're not going to get it. Uh, let's go fix the. Uh, let's fix those two markers real quick. And we'll check the log, make sure it didn't throw any errors. I've not tried the map yet. Just installed FS22 today. Uh, let me check the log first. Make sure that's not going to throw any Lua errors, and it's. Looks like it's error free. So let's open this back up a minute. We've got to figure out where the info trigger is. So let me grab a plane so I know where the ground is. And then our which trigger was too high? That's the player trigger. That one was fine. This one has to come down a little bit. Lower that one a little bit. Now where's my info trigger? It's here, so yeah, it's got to come out further. Where's the player trigger? Yeah, let's move that as well. Let's pull the player to grow out a bit. Shift and C. Uh, shift and V. All right, let's get rid of the plane and save that. Delete that one. Uh, 
copy, paste, replace, replace to Grove. All right, let's try that again. We should be good this time. Should be. It's, it's not throwing any errors. So all we gotta do is test and make sure it works. Try that again. All right. Pr construction. No, not decoration. Production. Greenhouses. Because there's no orchard. Oh, there is an orchard category. I can change that to orchards. All right, I'll have to change the category on that from greenhouses to orchards. So I'm going to have to change all of those. I'll just need to change the category. And I spun it too fast. That's better. All right, so now we should be good. That trigger's still a little high. That's all right. There we go. So now let's change. I want to leave it on storing because I want to try and manually empty it. So let's activate those. So water, compost, or manure. We'll, we, we just need to check one and then herbicide. So what do I have in the way of trucks over here? Perfect. You are going to grab some herbicide. And then you're going to make a delivery to the new grove. Yeah, because I refuse to do olives and grapes in FS22 the way they currently are in the game. I don't like the mechanics at all. You can't get the you can't get them put down straight. You can't get the rows the width correct because you can't get in there to mulch if you mess it all up. It's just a pain in the ass. Alright, let's get you out of the way. And then where's my tipper? Over here. Oh, we needed water also. That's alright. Let's throw compost and manure and then we'll throw some water in there. Uh, compost or manure. Oop, not what I wanted. Compost. I right, throw a load of compost in. I keep forgetting to crack this mod open and change in the uh, unload speed. But this is the small capacity one for testing. All right, let's throw some water in there since I forgot the water. Yeah, I was going over my notes last night. I'm going, okay, look, I'm going to make sure I have everything done for Mod Pack 1 so I can start working on Mod Pack 2. And then, then I realized that I wanted to do the Olive Grove and the Vineyard. Uh, this should have gone active. 
and it is. Let's forward some time. So we can check the unload. Oh, I know what I did. I, I forgot to add I forgot to change the percentage. I gotta make one adjustment to the XML. I gotta change it from I think twenty percent to a hundred percent. That's enough to test the discharge node. Alright, we should have all of And I gotta make one more adjustment to the XML. And we have, is that the olives? Yep, we have olives, perfect. unload them. Um, can we reload them? We can reload them. Alright, so we should be good with Olive Grove. We'll, check, we'll get out and we'll check the log. I'm going to make a couple more adjustments. Alright, let's save this. Lazy work and more, uh, well, less machines to buy. Exactly, exactly. All right. Uh, check the log. Papa Smurfs auto lay trailer. I'm getting Lua errors with. I'm going to take it out of my mods folder. I don't know why I'm getting Lua errors with his. I send him the log. He's not responded to me. But I'm getting Lua errors on his auto load truck every single time I use it. Even if I don't use it, I'm getting a Lua errors with it. And I don't know why. But the map and the new Olive Grove are error free. Alright, there's one thing I forgot to do. I forgot when I took all the other crops out of it, I forgot to change this to 100. That should be the last um, modification to that. Let's delete that. Let me throw it back in my mods folder. So copy and paste. Nope, crap, I forgot to change it from greenhouses to orchards. category has to be orchards. So let's save that. Let me zip it back up. So copy and paste. And then let's go into my two orchards and fix those so they're in the correct category. So orchard one, we need to change the orchards. So let me delete that one and zip it back up. Copy and paste, and then Orchard 2, 
Got to change the category. The orchards. And let's delete that. Throw that in here as well. Uh, let's jump back in here really quick and make sure it's going to show up in the other tab and it's not going to throw any errors or mess up my original save. Or mess up my uh, test map save. But yeah, I'm not sure why I'm getting uh, Lua errors with the pallet truck. So I didn't make any edits to it. It's straight from his website into my mods folder. Alright, so if I jump into the store now. Production. So we should have these moved over to orchards. Perfect. So we have our olive grove. We have orchard one, orchard two. And then you'll have Greenhouse 1, 2, and 3 when you get Mod Pack 2. Perfect. Let's build the vineyard. Let me just check the log one more time. Yeah, see, it's strange. Now, that Lua error went away, and I never used the auto load truck, so I'm not sure what it is. All right, we're done with the Grove. Let's close that. So let's jump in here. Let's open up the Grove. Let's go down to Visuals. And we'll get rid of the olive. And we will go up here. And let's go File, Export, uh, Vineyard. Vineyard. And we'll close out without making any changes to it. And I just want to open it up make sure I didn't mess it up. So it's still good. Alright, I should have... Do I have another tab open? I do have another tab open. You're the Grove. You're my mods folder. I don't need you yet. You are... Let's move you over here. Let's go into here. Now let's open up the Grove because that's where we stole everything from. So I need brand, I need this, this, and this. You need to be vineyard. Alright, so I need these copied over to here. So it gives us all the files we need. So let's open up Let's rename this Vineyard. And let's open it up. And we're going to take this one, and I'm just going to back out Olive Grove, and we're going to add in Vineyard. We're going to use the same picture, but it'll be the Vineyard instead of the Olive Grove. So let's just go copy, paste, and save. So that fixes the picture that quick. Uh, let's open up the vineyard. And let's get a plane to work on. So we know where the ground is. Create a transform group. Throw it in here. And we'll call it, I guess, vines. 
and we'll throw it like right here. We'll start working right here. All right, let's go file, import. Let's import in one of the grapes. I need to go edit, cut, and paste. These are going to be a little bit slower to put in. Let's import in the poll. Let's go edit, cut, and paste. And let's get the poll kind of sort of lined up. Here. All right, let's grab this guy. Oh, I gotta put, do I gotta put poles? I guess I should put poles between them. Do I need to put poles between them? Can we get away with putting one pole in the beginning and one pole on the end? Let's grab a pole. Let's throw it on this end. And then I'm just going to see what it looks like. Do we need to put poles in between them? We should probably put poles in between them. Something's got to hold up the vines. And then now it's easy. Now we just move them where we want them. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> vines, there we go. Now we can move them where we want them. you on the end. Now we'll leave that. Actually, let me just pull these over a little bit further. That should be So let's get rid of the plane, save it. We didn't make any changes to the factory, so all we have to do literally is just update the XML. I don't have to, I don't have to, I, none of the I3D mapping we don't have to mess with. So that we're done with. The poll we are done with. So mod description, you become vineyard. Uh, I think I just need to take the capital V out of here. What did I, did I rename the store photo? Or did I forget to rename the store photo? I did rename the store photo. So that, that is now correct. The XML should be lowercase vineyard. So mod description should be good. Uh, wrong one. Let's rename this All right, so you become vineyard 
you become vineyard. Oh, crap. Icon. Because it's a lowercase v, and this one's a lowercase v. And then all we have to do is change olive to grape. I believe it's grape and not grapes. Let me go into the fill types. It's grape singular. Okay, so that goes to grape. That does. This is all caps. That becomes grape. That becomes grape. That becomes grape. This is all caps. And then we're going to dispense grape instead of olive. And then we just have to store grape instead of olive. Save that. That should be that simple. We should have a vineyard, a working vineyard like that simple. So all the work was done for us already. So let's copy that into here. See if we have a working vineyard. So we should have a new store photo right there. So there's our vineyard. I love the auto distributing um, function of 22. It makes it so much simpler. All right, let's throw this one down. Let me get this guy out of the way because I want to put it here next to it. I may have to pick up some. Now I got plenty of room. Let's get this guy out of the way and then off camera I'll get those bales out of the way. All right, I'm going to change this one to, since we know it works and, it, and we know that we can do everything with it, I'm going to just change that to distribute. This way I won't have to mess with it in for further testing. All right, now we should have uh, construction, production, orchards. We should have the vineyard. So let's spin this one around. We'll probably go come in and change up the color of the silos just to make them look different. Let's make sure they function first so we can mess with color. All right, so we should have... All right, let's activate these. I'm going to leave it on storing so we can make sure we can dispense them and everything works. And we'll change up the silos a little bit. All right, let's grab some water and herbicide. water. That's just awesome because this will finish up um, Mod Pack 2. We'll get it to Dixie this week for testing. We'll get it to the Patreon members this Friday. 
and it will get it released the following Friday. Alright, so that was water. Let's grab some herbicide right there. Throw in either a load of compost or manure. Manure. That works for me. Should be a little bit quicker this time, so I adjusted the rate. So let's go a couple hours so we get some product in here. Oh, thunderstorm's over. Back to one speed. All right, let's make sure we can dispense them out. Awesome. We have grapes. They look like grapes. We can unload them. Should be able to reload them. Awesome. All right, so that should take care of mod pack two. Uh, let me change, make sure this on distributing, that's on distributing, and I can change this one. And I can change this one. Alright, so we're golden. Alright, so that's my... Let's check the log. Grapes to make wine. No FS game is fam family games. We're, de we're definitely going to do... We're definitely going to do a winery. But you're going to make grape juice first. We'll have the juice factory done before the um, uh, winery because we got to make barrels. And I don't have barrels in the uh, mill yet. So that'll be a future update. Um, we'll add barrels to the mill when we re release the um, winery when we get to it. All right, let me do something before I forget, just so I have it ready for Dixie. What are you? You are something I don't need anymore. I thought I deleted that. It's all right. Let me just drag it over. All right, new folder. FS22, Richie. Oh, hold on. Unzip first. Richie uh, mod pack two. Let me throw some stuff in here before I forget. All right, mod pack two. Let's jump in here. All right, mod pack two. I need the dairy.
I need uh, greenhouse one. I need greenhouse three. I need greenhouse two. I need the produce storage. And I need the grove. And I need the vineyard. So that's going to be mod pack two. And then the dairy mill, you're going to make um, cheese butter, whipped cream, sour cream, a little bit of hydrogen and a little bit of oxygen so you can get more water. 1018, good morning. So that's going to finish up. That should finish up mod pack two. All right, let me close some of these files I don't need open. All right, down to just one. Okay, perfect. So my mods folder's open. We don't need that yet. All right, back to my external hard drive. That's where I'm building everything in. All right, so mod pack three. We started, but I never did work. There's a couple more things I want to do. So let's go into the grain mill. Oh, no, hold on. Let me back up a second. I wanted to recolor those silos. Let's get that out of the way first. Let's go into the Grove. Let's go into Textures. I don't have the silo in here. Crap. All right, let's open up. I s let's open up the Grove. i got to look at the silo and see what texture name it is. So if we look at the silo, can I recolor this? How easy is it going to be to recolor this? Silo O2 diffuse. So let's go into, before we jump into mod pack three, uh, steam. Steam apps, common, farm some 22. What's my path? My path is data maps, map US textures. Data maps, map US textures. Ah, wrong one. Textures. And then I want Farm Silo O2 Diffuse. I want Farm Silo O2 Diffuse. Let's copy that and paste it in there. All right, I want to redo the gray if we can. So, um, so let's go with which which file do I have open? The Grove or the? So we have the Grove, so olives. Let's do some kind of like dark hunter green, olivey looking green. All right. So if we go here, nope. Crap, I just messed that up. Let's go find that olivey darker green. Something like that. Okay, I want the magic wand. We're going to take this way down. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Let's go file. Let me save it as, let's just call it 03 just to be different. 
I think that needs to be a, a number one. And we can delete out number two. All right, so now we need to go into, let me close this a minute. So now I need to go into here. We gotta find silo O2 diffuse. And we take it away from the map texture so it no longer pulls it out of the base map. And we make it O3. Now we should have a green silo. I want to make sure it's not throwing any errors. Okay, no texture error. So we have a green silo to go with our olives. And then I'm going to have to put these back in my other folders here in a minute. But let's copy this one to the vineyard. Uh, let me do two things real quick. Let's go back into the grove. Delete this one. Zip it back up. Actually, i got to put it in my mods folder. Got to replace the one there. And i got to replace the one in mod pack 2. Okay, and let's go into the vineyard. And then let's open this up. I'm going to go back to this one a second. And I'm going to back out the green. We're going to go color picker. Ooh, uh, maybe some kind of a dark uh, so let's go copy paste and we'll save it and now I'm going to rename this one for just to be different and let's go into our vineyard. We got to change that to four. And save that. And then now we should have a purpley looking silo. for the grapes. So let me just delete that copy. Let's throw it in my mods folder. Now let's replace the one in mod pack 2. So I don't send Dixie the wrong one. All right, let's see what the updated ones look like in game. Color it pink. Now you got it. We got purpley looking grapes. Looking forward to the next pack. Yeah, the next pack is going to be awesome. All right, save game four. Let's just double check and make sure they're recolored, they're retextured, and it's not throwing any errors. So let's oh yeah, like they look good even from the for even from here they're looking good. All right, so your green one you can tell the difference when you're driving up now from a distance. So your green one's going to be your olives, and then your purpley looking one's going to be your grapes. All right, I can live with that. Let's make sure it's not throwing any errors. You know, Dixie doesn't like pink. 
it's fun when you're playing on a server with Dixie. When she's not on the server, you take every single one of her vehicles to the vehicle shop and you change every single one of them to hot pink. She absolutely loves it when you do that to her on the server. Alright, make sure we have no texture errors. I'm going to run all the way up to the top and just work my way down. That fast baler needs a little bit more work. So the map is still error free. All of the mods so far are error free. So we're done with that. I'm done with that. I'm done with that. I'm done with that. All right. Dixieland, so why do you troll me about the color pink just to see how I will destroy it? <laughs> All right. So that's going to take care of mod pack two. So let's jump back in here now that we got that taken care of. Uh, let's close that. Let's jump back in here. Okay, so mod pack two. Let's go back to the grain mill. The grain house. So I'm going to open up this guy. Did I add? We did not. Okay, so we're taking wheat and pallets. We're making flour. But as Dixie pointed out, we're not adding any fuel to run the factory with. So we're going to add diesel in here. And we're going to bump it down a little bit. So we're going to add diesel there. I have to add some diesel here. So you're going to take wheat, turn it into flour, we'll take barley, we'll turn it into flour. We'll take oats and turn it into flour. If you have sorghum, you can turn it into flour. Uh, if you have rye, you can turn it into flour. If you have rice, you can turn it into flour. And then if you have corn, you can turn it into cornmeal. So you'll have your cornmeal. Now we need to add it to the input trigger. Now we need to add it to where we're storing it. Alright, so that, now our grain, our new grain house is going to be complete. So we're going to make flour a whole bunch of different ways. And then you're going to be able to make cornmeal. So that should be the grain house um, updated. So let me delete that copy. Let me zip it back up. And let's jump back to my mods folder. So copy and paste. So that one should be done. I shouldn't have to mess with that factory anymore. Farmlands, let me delete that. I'm done with that. You're my backup. That's what I've made a major change to the map. I don't need that one anymore either. Alright, new folder. Unzip first. Richie. Mod. Pack. Crap, mod pack three or mod pack four? Mod pack three. Mod pack three. First one in mod pack three is the grain house. So that one, grain house, I'm going to call done. We tested it yesterday. The only thing I did was add diesel to it. So I can get that off my list. 
I added coal to the dairy, so that one's off my list. Someone just walked in the house. Let me walk out and check. I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that. So my sister came home to get more tools on the my niece's house that they're working on. All right, so that's the grain house. The other one we built yesterday was the sugar house. And we completely tested that out. It's working fine. But I want to add diesel to this one as well. So let me come over to here. Let me grab this line. And we could paste it in over here. So sugar beet boxes and diesel to make sugar and molasses. Sugar beet cut boxes and diesel. And we'll get sugar and molasses and then sugar cane boxes. and diesel and we'll get sugar and molasses. So I need to add it there, I need to add it here, and we need to add it into where we're storing it. Uh, we clean that up, we clean that up, let's change this to, oh I gotta fix that again anyway, diesel. All right, so that's going to take care of, so we have it there, I have it as an input, so we're storing it, we're inputting it, and we're using it. Okay, so that's going to be Sugar House. We tested it yesterday, it's fine. All I do is add diesel to it, so let's zip this one back up. So let me throw it in my mods folder. And let me throw it in mod pack three. All right, so that's going to take care of those two done. So let me get that off my list. So sugar house is completely built. Grain house is completely built. Let's go to the drying mill, which the in-game, I took the in-game factory that makes raisins, I renamed it the drying mill. And we're gonna mess around with this. Okay, let's, what did I do to the store? Nothing. That's alright, because we're not making much, we're not making many changes to it. So let's grab, uh, let's grab this. copy this, we'll paste it there, and now we're just going to call this one, oh we got to change our color back to yellow. Uh, this will be drying, what did I call it? Drying mill. So let's uh, save that DTX5. And let's rename this so I can keep everything consistent. Raisin Mill. Uh, so that's taken care of. I need a 
going to close mod pack 3, but I do need another folder open. Alright, let's grab something I know is working. Let me grab the dairy mill. I need brand... Uh, that's it. I think I just need the brand and the mod description. So let's copy these over to here. So mod description, you are now going to be no longer the dairy mill. You are going to be the drying mill. And then you are going to be our store. Let me just make sure I have it named identical. So you are going to be store Hold on. Oh, I renamed the wrong one. No. Yep, you're going to be store raisin mill. You're going to be store raisin mill. So that's our store photo. So our mod description should be done. Oh, let me open up the factory. I don't think we're making any physical changes to the factory. The only thing we may do is we may expand the pallet area. Let's just take a look and see where the pallet spawners are. Um, I'm not going to mess with that. I'm not going to make any changes to this. So we may recolor it a little bit. Uh, let me leave it open. We may recolor it a little bit to make it look different than the composter. And then let's come into here and let's rename this the drying mill. What's the Raisin Factory logo? I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to mess with it right now. All right, drying mill. You become. You become drying mill, function becomes drying, if I can spell drying mill, our store becomes mill, if I, let me just double check that, I have a feeling I've messed that up. Yes, I did. Let's rename this drying mill. So I'm going to have to go back to the mod description to make sure it's correct there. So you are going to be drying mill. Let me make sure the mod description says drying mill. And now we're going to change the XML as well. So might as well fix that now. All right, so drying mill. Drying mill done. Store is done. Brand. Change the brand. Everything else is the same. Our I3D. What did I name the I3D? drying mill. So you become, oh, come on, so you become the drying mill. Because we're going to retexture a little bit. So that's done up to there. I'm not going to mess with anything else because the factory's running fine. So we are going to take the first one I'm going to leave. We're going to take our, let's go here. I'm going to make this the same speed as all my other factories. Um, we're going to put in, 
we're going to add grape. Um, I see. What does the raisin palette look like? Uh, palettes. Uh, raisin box. So I need boxes. I believe it's a box. So I retexture this. Yep, so we need boxes. So we are going to need grapes. We are going to need boxes and we're going to need some kind of a fuel to run the factory, whether it's coal or diesel. I'm going to do coal. So we're going to do grape. We're going to do boxes. We are going to do uh, coal. So grape, uh, let's go with like 60% grape. Uh, we'll do like 10% boxes and 10% coal, we're going to get 100% raisins out. We're not going to make juice in this factory, we're going to make a separate factory for juice. So the first production line is going to be raisins. And I want to change this so it matches the rest of mine. So you become raisins. And change that one. All right, so our first production line is going to be raisins. Copy this to here. Second line, let me go to my fill types. Control find. All right, second one, we're making banana chips. So this is going to be banana chips, banana chips, and in our output, becomes banana chips. So that's going to be production line number two. Production line number three, we're going to do dry cherries. So you become dry cherries. You become dry cherries, our fill type becomes dry cherries. Oh, hold on. You become banana. And you become, oh crap, is it cherry or cherries? I don't know if it's singular or plural. Let me go to my fill types. Um, control find cherry. It's cherry singular. Okay, so that'll work. So fill type cherry, dry cherries. Now we have to add in. So we're going to grape, uh, banana, uh, cherry. Cherry boxes and coal are our inputs. So grape boxes, coal, and then banana and cherry. So those are our inputs. We have a pallet spawner, so we have one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. I gotta add two more to here. 
right, so the first one, oh, I have, to, I have to add more than that. So we have grape, we have raisins. We need boxes. And then, so grape boxes, we need coal. All right, grape, raisins, boxes, coal. That takes care of the first one. So we just need to add banana. And I, gotta, I need three more lines. So we need banana, we need banana chips. We need cherry. And we need dry cherries. And then this is, uh, I should have changed this first. You become million liters. Just copy that. Paste it there, paste it there. Paste it there, paste it there, paste it there, and then let me try and straighten this up a little bit. That'll work. All right, so we, we're going to make raisins, we're going to make banana chips, we're going to make dry cherries. We have our inputs, we have our pallet spawner. We didn't make any changes to the map factory, so it's going to be all of our I3D should be fine. We won't have to re-I3D anything, remap anything. Now I do want to make, I think we want to try and retexture this a little bit. So let me back up before we retexture. So in our fill types, we have our new, let me go control find. So we should have our, oh crap. Let me back that out. Uh, control find. So we should have our banana chips are defined in our fill types. We have our banana chip palettes already built and then our dry cherries, our dry cherry palette is already built. Let me make sure I registered the new palettes. So banana chips and dry cherries, so they're registered. Now the only thing I forgot to do is I forgot to add them into the cell points. So grain house I'm done with, let me close that. Sugar house I'm done with, let me close that. We have to open up, we have to go into the map cell points. Placeables, selling station. Let's add them to. Let's add them to the farmers market. Let's add them to the mini market, and we'll add them to the supermarket. All right. So I have to come up here and. They're going to be a palette. Yeah, they're going to be a palette. So I need to add them on to, into here. So you're going to be DRY dry cherries. And banana chips. So let me copy these. So, oh, I don't need to copy those because there's only one trigger they have to go in. So we have to add them into the palette trigger. Then I have to add them down here. So we have to add uh, banana chips. We have to add dry cherries. Uh, 
me save that. Now I can come up here. Let's copy these again. Uh, let's go to the mini market. So I'm add them in here. We save that. I'm going to go to the farmer's market. I'm going to add them in there. Let me come back here. Let me steal these two lines. We have to add them into the mini market. But I'm going to change the price. And then we have to add them into the farmer's market. And let's just bump the price up there a little bit. All right, so we have our new products added into the sell points. So the new products added into the fill types. We have new pallets built. Uh, I built those off camera, so they're already built. We have our store ma, our store XML. We have our new pallets registered. So everything's in the map for the new products. We should be good to test. We should be good to test drying mill. We should be able, we should get raisins, banana chips, and dry cherries out of it now. All right, let us, uh, let me go back to my mods folder. So brand is done. Oh, that's the dairy mill. Drying mill. All right, brand is done. I3D is done. XML is done. Mod description is done. Our store, no, not done yet. I want to try and retexture this a little bit. So where is our main LOD? All right, we're going to have to jump back into the base game and steal a texture. All right, before we mess around, let me close this. All right, let's jump in. Let's, so let's create, oh, I need that open, crap. Um, new folder, textures. Let me open this back up so I know where the path is to get the right texture. Uh, when are you going to make a map that's not stolen from PV? Really? Everything I've seen of yours is just... <laughs> Why don't you go and watch every single one of my... Um, every single thing I made on camera. I built the entire map on camera, and I built the entire... Um, every single factory on camera. So, absolutely nothing stolen from PV. Bear with me a sec, y'all. Just got to go back in and fix my... Uh, I can't get my... Uh, let me refresh chat. There we go. Back to window. All right, what texture path was this? Placeable, so FS22 data placeables. This PC.
farm sim 22 data placeables what's the rest of the path placeables lizard lizard production lizard production and then raisin factory I believe lizard production raisin factory raisin factory diffuse so we need raisin factory diffuse let's copy that into here Honda Teddy, hello. Thanks for stopping in. Sorry we had a troll. We're going to get lots of trolls from um, PV because our map is out before their map. And their map apparently has a bunch of issues in it. So we're going to get a lot of trolls from PV. Nothing I can do about that. Uh, let me just get rid of all this stuff I don't need open anymore. All right, let's try and retexture this a little bit. So, so we have the roof. All right, so the roof is like that green color. So let's change the roof up a little bit. Let's go like a dark, can we get like a dark burgundy? Something. Uh, yes, lots of trolls. They're just jealous because we've got our map out without too many issues. Yeah. Uh, so let's try and change the green up a little bit. So let's go like that. Uh, maybe a little bit darker. Oh, too pink now. One something like a darker. Ah, give me a darker, like a dark deep maroon. Let me try that one. I'll see what that looks like in game. I'm not, if I don't like that, we can come back in and change it. So that's going to retexture the roof. The walls are like this grayish color. So let's change that up a little bit. Let's try and darken it up a bit. Uh, not quite that much. Come on, give me this whole row. Oop, had it. Oh, I'm going to get a little bit of texture change up there. That's all right. Let's see what this looks like. And now let's clean up. Let's clean that edge up. Let me open up another one of these. Let's clean this top edge up. Let me grab this and copy it, paste it in. All right, I'll clean that top edge up a little bit. Actually, let me just pull it down a little bit. Now that'll clean that top edge up. Let's go File, Save As, let's call it Raisin Factory 2 Diffuse. Alright, 
So that's Raisin Factory 2 Diffuse. Let's keep the original one in there for a minute. Let's open this up. Let me close this one a minute. Alright, so Raisin Factory... Raisin Factory... Oh, that's the props right here. Raisin Factory 2 Diffuse. textures. Our Raisin Factory 2 Diffuse. So now we should have it retextured. Not a fan of the roof. I like the darker gray. I'll see what it looks like in-game. We can always change it, but yeah, definitely not. I don't think I'm a fan of the roof. Yeah, that's all right. We'll see what it looks like in-game. They want to come in and harp on PV. That opens up the door for me to, to harp on PV. It's only taken them four months not to release a map that's an in-game edit of into a 4x map. So their players still have nothing to play on. Kind of like the roof, Tyler. All right, we'll leave. We'll see what it looks like in game. So I think tech brand is done. I think we're good to test this. Let's drop it in game and see if it's throwing any errors. Uh, so let's copy this over to here, and let's jump in here, and let's see if we can get it working. Now the problem is I'm going to need bananas and cherries, so it's a good thing we have our orchards and greenhouses running. So save game four. We should now have a drying house. Right there. And jump in here. I'm going to go back to where our grain mill and flour mill is, back by the... Um, stone pit behind the mountain I think and we're gonna work back there. We'll throw the new factory down. So we should have bananas and cherries running. I just want to make sure they're on here and they're on auto distribute. Um, everything's auto distributing, so we should have bananas and cherries coming over from the orchards. So let's head. Yeah, I have them back here. Perfect. All right, so our grain house is running. It should now. Well, it shouldn't be running because we we're going to have to now add diesel to it. So it's missing diesel, but oh, we're not making diesel on this map. So we're going to have to dump some diesel in here just to make sure that's still working. And I'm going to dump some diesel in. Did we change this one to coal or did we change this one to diesel? So that one needs a little bit of diesel. Come on. This one, need, yeah, they both need a little bit of diesel. Do I have a, tr I do have a truck bag. Let's take care of that first. And then we'll put the drying mill down. So I want to make sure we're making sugar and flour for the next set of factories. So let's throw some diesel in here.
this is a this is this map this map was built from an, a, from a blank 4x map. So if you go back to my if you go to my YouTube channel, you can see me build this. I I, I upload every single one of my Twitch streams to YouTube, so you can watch on my YouTube channel every single one of uh, this map being built from absolutely nothing to it being completed. And I'll give you my YouTube link here in a second. So yeah, I built this entire map on camera and every single episode's been uploaded to YouTube. So you can watch this entire map build. I've done literally nothing off camera. Except maybe build a couple of pallets. <laughs> no nightmare on Elm Creek here. <laughs> All right, let me get you. If someone wants to type in exclamation point YouTube, you'll get the link to my YouTube channel. But yeah, you can go in and watch. Every single thing was built on camera. All right, so that's going to be Sugar House running and the... The, uh, the grain mill running. Let's throw down. Did I buy all this property back here just so I could put more factories down? I did. Let's go over here. And we'll throw the drying mill down. Uh, production. Tyler, 120226, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Yeah, this is definitely not... I, this map, I took a blank forex space and we built this entire map from scratch. Drying mill, perfect. No errors so far. Let's drop that down. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm gonna, we're going to leave it. We're not going to recolor it. We're going to leave it like it is. The raisins are kind of... Well, they're not purpley, but... The grapes they come from are kind of purpley. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to make raisins. So, grapes, boxes, coal. We're going to get our raisins. Let's activate that. I'm going to leave it on storing. So, bananas, boxes, coal. We're going to get our banana chips. Cherries, boxes, coal, we're going to get our dried cherries. Let's activate that as well. So now, we should have everything, maybe except for coal, auto-distribute in here. So I'm going to dump a load of coal in here. But the boxes, everything else should auto-distribute into this for us. Let me grab a load of coal. Tell me I copy the PV map. That just pisses me off. <laughs> Do you want to bitch that I'm copying PV? Go to modhub.us. There's a mining map that's almost identical to the PV map that has all the same fill types and mining products in it. And then tell them to go download Wild West because they have the exact same fill types except for the mining products. They're just jealous because their map's not released yet. It only took me 14 days to build this map.
Matt K, hey old man, who said that? That's stupid for sure. Yeah, we had a troll. We had a PV troll, and we get lots of PV trolls. We love PV trolls. PV trolls are the best. Alright, so we have some coal in here. It's going to have to manually, it's, so it's, we're going to have to forward time and hope we get everything else pushed in here from our other factories. So let me speed up time and see if we start getting materials in here. Boxes we should automatically get. Perfect. So we are getting everything automatically pushed in. As soon as one pallet of each spawn out, I'm going to take this down to one speed. Alright, so we have our raisins. So we have our raisins, we have our banana chips, that pallet is correct, 4,000 liters and it's called banana chips. This pallet is dry cherries at 4,000 liters and this pallet is raisins at 4,000 liters. Now let's save this because we're going to have to add these two fill types to the pallet warehouse. So let's save this. They're going to hold off so the next release doesn't cause issues. They haven't released the first one that I know of. Only to their pets. I'll check the log for errors. Papa Smurf's auto load trailer. I have no idea why that thing is throwing a Lua error. But map is clean, factory's clean. Let's go, let's open up the pallet warehouse because we're going to have to add the new fill types to it. So, not the bulk warehouse, the pallet warehouse. Pallet storage. Pallet storage. Alright, so under mineral feed. Um, yep, under mill oh crap, I don't want to do that. Alright, uh, alright, so under mineral feed. Let's copy that. I need that one, and I need that one. So this one is going to be banana chips. This is going to be. banana chips. The fill type there and here and then we're going to have dry cherries dry cherries dry cherries and our fill type here is dry cherries and dry cherries Sylvia I missed that and it did not come up in my chat I apologize I missed that. Thank you for the follow. It didn't show up in my chat, so I do apologize I did not see it. I didn't catch it on my screen. Alright, so we have our banana chips added, we have our dry cherries added. We have to add them into here. So, um, banana chips. and dry cherries banana chips and dry cherries 
banana chips, dry cherries, and then down here we have to add banana chips, dry cherries, and then down here we have to add in banana chips dry cherries and I'll get rid of that space. Let's save that and then we have to change the mod description to version 1.2. So let me uh, let me delete that. Let's zip this back up. And let's throw that into my mods folder. All right, let's check, let's see if the new warehouse works now with the new product. Or the updated pallet storage with the new product. So back to save game four. Uh, Dixieland, if you're still here, let me know um, when you want to stream. Because all I'm doing is messing around with um, factories for Mod Pack 3 today. I'm not going to jump in and play today. Alright, let's jump back here. Come on, jump back. Where's... Yep, let's jump back here. Alright, so we should now have the two new products added into here. So let's take these and go distributing, distributing, and let's take these now that we have one palette of each out and change them to distributing, distributing, and distributing. And then even though this trailer's throwing errors, I want to see if we can't pick them up with Papa Smurf's trailer. It's parked over here somewhere. Over here. So let's change this to uh, Euro pallets because it's on liquid tank. Alright, perfect. So they auto they'll auto load. And then they should oop wrong trigger. They should offload. I was gonna dump them in where the pallets spawn out. Alright. So they're going to offload as well. So awesome. So we have our drying mill done. Probably change up that sign. Yeah, let's look at that sign. Let's save this. And let's go look at that sign. 
um, is good with it. Uh, it's good with the distribution option. Then the wife doesn't need to drive around so much on the map. <laughs> All right, so let's jump into here. Let's go back to the drying mill. And I pulled this, no, I did not pull the sign out. Or did I pull the sign out? I did. Let's, um, let's cut it from there and we'll paste it into here. Yeah, that's the sign. So let's go to, oh, do I want to change it to the brand I built my... Um, you know what? I'm going to mess around with this sign off camera because I want to go to Google Images and pull some stuff out for this. I'll mess around with that sign off camera. And I'll, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to logo it up to match our palettes. So I'll mess with that off camera. Can do that too, but more cleared space, more places for factories. Yeah, there's plenty of meadows on this map for you to put factories down. All right, so drawing mill is done. So mod pack three is going to have the sugar house, the grain house, the drawing mill, and I want to do the oil press. Um, I started building some new pallets this morning. So the factory that makes the sunflower oil, the canola oil, and the olive oil, I renamed it Oil Press so it doesn't conflict with the one in the map. So let me open up. Uh, let me open up another folder so I can pull some stuff out. Uh, let me come into here. Let me come into here. Let's come into... Uh, it doesn't matter. I need brand. And I need mod description. Let's copy those over to here. That's all I should need. Let's take the store. And we're not making any changes to the factory. Um, we may just retexture it a little bit like we did the other one. I should have left that extra folder open. What did I just want to go get? Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I'm just going to leave this extra folder open. So I want to pull out my logo from the top corner. So let's copy that over to here. And then we're going to, what did I call this? Oil, oil press. So ye, color picker, yellow. oil press uh, save this DTX5 alright so the store picture is done uh, we need to rename this though from oil plant to oil press alright so we have our oil press done uh, mod description, no longer fertilizer station, oil press, and now I got to change these two. And then our store is going to be, so this gets changed to store, store, uh, 
oil press. And then our XML, we're going to rename oil press as well. So let's save that. And let's rename this oil press. I want i um, going to make a list of suggested place downs order to help y'all awesome. To get back to what, yeah, exactly. You're not going to spend eight hours hauling pallets around anymore. All right. We have the brand. Mod description's done. Store's done. Let's jump into here. So this becomes oil press. This becomes oil press. We changed our PNG. to oil press and we change the i3d to oil press all right and now we didn't change anything else in the factory so Alright, so sunflower oil, canola oil, olive oil. I am adding in coconut oil and peanut oil to this factory. Now let's see what the pallets look like. So we can figure out what our... Uh, oh, wrong one. That's not my mods folder. This one's my mods folder. Let's go see what these pallets look like. I think, think they're a short pallet sitting on a... I think they're a short box sitting on a pallet. Let's look at the... What's one of the in-game ones? Um, sunflower oil. Let's look at the sunflower oil. Sunflower oil I didn't change. So let's see what the original pallet looks like. I think it's a little, I think it's a bottle sitting on a pallet. Um, sunflower oil, sunflower oil. Yeah, so it's going to be a bottle sitting on a, so we're going to add pallets into this map. Well, now we're not making empty bottles, but we could make empty bottles. because we have plastic. So we may want to start making bottles. Now if we make bottles, then we can't, I'm going to just put pallets in instead of bottles. All right, so we know what the pallet looks like. So let's jump back in here. So we are going to take, so it's going to be sunflower, so we're going to go sunflower, we're going to go pallets, um, we're going to go diesel, and we're going to add a little bit of plastic in and it's going to make its own bottles. This is going to go to a hundred, alright, so we're going to go like 50% sunflower, 5% on the pallets, 2% on the diesel, 2% on the plastic. That'll work. And then this gets bumped up to 100. So this goes to 100. That goes to 100. That goes up. That goes up. And then we're going to add these to here. We're going to change that to 
50. We're going to add them in here. We'll change that to 50. And now we're going to add in two more production lines. All right, so the first production line is going to be, uh, first one is going to be coconut. And it's going to be um, just coconut oil. It's going to take it all down. Coconut oil. Um, so we should be good there. Did I add them into my fill types this morning? All right, hold on. So this is pallet storage I'm done with. Pallet storage I'm done with. Drying mill I'm done with. Drying mill I'm done with. Drying mill I'm done with. All right, oil press, oil press. Okay, did I put my new pallets in the map this morning? So we should have um, control find. I was building pallets for coconut oil and peanut oil. Let me search for coconut and see if I added the new pallets in. That's just straight up coconut. No, I didn't add the new pallets into the map. I didn't add the new fill types in the map yet, so we also have to do that. So we got to get the new fill types in the map. we got to get the new pallets in the map. So they're not in the map yet. Okay, so we're going to take coconut oil. So this is going to become coconut. So, and then we're going to take coconut. We'll turn it into coconut oil. I don't have my fill type defined yet. I'm going to just use the same format. We're just going to change this to coconut. So we can't test the factory until we build the fill types into the map. So you're going to be coconut oil. You are going to be peanut oil. And then this is going to become peanut oil. Um, and then this is going to become peanut oil. And then, so now we have, let's change this all to a million. So we have, okay, so we have to add all the new fill types in here now. Uh, I don't know how many I need. I'm just going to double this for now. All right, so we added in pallets. We added in diesel. And we added in plastic. And then we also added in coconut. Uh, coconut, we added in coconut oil. We added in peanut. Did I add in peanut? Oh, I forgot to add in peanut. We have to add in peanut there. I have to add, I gotta change that to peanut. Probably hollering at me in chat. It should be peanut where it says peanut oil. Yeah, so peanut there to make peanut oil. Um, coconut to coconut oil, peanut to peanut oil. And then peanut oil down here. Or peanut and then one more, I need peanut oil. So 
So I need peanut oil here. So I think we have everything in here now. Sunflower pallets, diesel plastic. Sunflower pallets, diesel plastic. We kept in the original canola oil, sunflower oil, canola oil. So that's all the same. We added in coconut, coconut oil, peanut, peanut oil. And yep, so I think we're good. So now we have to add in over here, we have to add in pallets. We have to add in diesel. We have to add in plastic. We have to add in coconut. And we have to add in peanut. That should be good. I think that's going to be everything for the oil press. Oil press, oil press, oil press. We sped, oh, we had to build the fill types into the map. Sassy one, thanks for catching that. Yeah, I think we're good now. Let's just go back down here and double check. So we have sunflower to sunflower oil. We have canola to canola oil. Olive to olive oil, coconut to coconut oil, and then peanut to peanut oil. So I think we're good. The only thing I said, uh, now we have to build the HUDs and the fill types into the map before we can test the factory. But I want to look at the factory real quick before we call it done. I want to see if we can't retexture the building a little bit I think. Let's see what it looks like. It's kind of bland. Alright, so if we come over to here and we go to visual, we go to LOD. We're gonna go back in map we're gonna go back in game and steal a texture file. So I want data data placeables lizard. Let's create a texture folder. Let's go back into base game. Uh, Steam, Steam apps, common, farm sim 22 data, maps, what was my path? Oh, I'm sorry, data placeables, data placeables lizard. So data placeables lizard. What's the rest of my path? Um, production points and then the oil plant. Uh, production points, oil plant, and then I want the oil plant diffuse. Let's copy that over to here. Yeah, we got to do something a little bit with this. It's too, like, gray. She is definitely too gray. Alright, let's close that so we don't make any changes to it. Let's grab, like, a dark... Do we have, like, a dark brick red? Maybe something like that. Let's take a look at that. So if we come down here and we grab... Oh, I don't want that much. Oh, okay, I'm gonna have to... I can fix that. Let me open up another copy. So I have two of them open. So I can steal parts back and put them back. All right, let's go go like that. 
Oh, it didn't take. There we go. And then we take this and we put this back. So it's clean. And we go file, save as. We're going to go oil plant to diffuse just so it's a little bit different. And then we have to go into here. And we go oil plant to diffuse. We go textures. Right, see what it looks like now. It's, so it's not going to be like all gray. I like that. I think I'm going to darken the roof up a little bit too. So our roof color I think was this. Hold on, let me open that back up. Not bad. Yeah, I think we're going to darken the roof up a little bit as well. Let me see what color it is. So it's that one. So it's this one under the brick. I think we're going to darken that. We may just darken that up a little bit. Let's go. Let's go with our darker gray, but not as dark as the one on the bottom. Ooh, maybe we can two tone it. Maybe we can get lucky and two tone it a little bit. Uh, let's save that and see what it looks like. Let's close that one. Let's open it back up. Nope, wrong one. So that, that darkened up the brick. Okay, so it wasn't that one. Let's close this. It darkened up the other one. So let's come in here and let's back that color out. It's this one. That is the roof. Let's two. T let's see if I can get like two tone. I can, and let's put this other top color back, so we have a clean area. Oh, uh, it may not be enough. We may have to go in and darken that up a little bit more. Still not. Oh, so that was the tower. What color is this freaking roof? So that messed up the tower. So do we like the tower two-tone? No, I don't like the tower two-tone. Let's back that out. So it's not that one. Let's back that out. Let's back that out. So it's not that one. It's not this one. Is it? What color? Which one is it? I'm trying to darken the roof up a little bit. It's one that looks like concrete texture. thought it was that one. Maybe it's the one on the very bottom. I don't know. The only one we haven't tried yet. Let's change this one up and see if it's the one on the very bottom.
leave it two-tone save that let's close this one if not then it's gonna be that one nope it's not that one either it's the only one that we haven't changed yet so let's back that change out right didn't mess anything else up so it's got to be this one it's the only one that we haven't changed so let's save that unless there's a different texture for the roof nope still not that one I have no idea what this roof texture is I'm going to leave it though, so everything else looks fine. Oh, so what we changed now was the railing. I can leave the railing like that. I kind of like it two-tone. I have no idea what this roof color is. Unless there's a different texture for the roof. Interior, details, winter. Nope, that's just the icicles in the snow. I have no idea what the roof color is, but we're going to leave it. I'm just going to leave it like it is. Now, we have to add the new product into the map. So we have to add the coconut oil and the peanut oil into the map. So let's go to our fill types. Let's find our other oils. Not our crude oil. Not our oil seed radish. It's right there. Sunflower oil. So sunflower oil, canola oil, olive oil. So under olive oil, let's copy that. So I need one I need two. So we have olive oil. So you become coconut. You become coconut oil. All right, so coconut oil, our HUD is going to be I'll just leave, leave it all the same so we're gonna go we'll just go oil um, coconut so we have to make a PNG for our coconut oil and then our palette I already built a palettes so it should be coconut coconut oil palette and then this we have to change to peanut This becomes peanut oil. This becomes Hudfill oil peanut. And then our palette becomes peanut. Actually, I'm going to change these HUDs up a little bit because we have to do custom HUDs. So I'm just going to go HUD fill, um, what's this one? Coconut oil. Um, where's, I need, I think it's, uh, let me get the correct path. It's going to be HUD. Hud, hud, let me just grab this path. Let me move it up here. So our path for our hud. Uh, 
I'm going to change this to, we're going to go just olive oil. So when we, we build our HUD, I'm just going to call it HUD, HUD fill olive oil. And then we're going to do the same thing down here. This is going to get changed. Let me just go back and make sure that's correct. It's going to be HUD, fill types, and then the PNG. So our coconut oil is going to be HUD, fill types, and then HUD, fill coconut oil. And then we're going to have... Did I mess up? I should not have changed olive oil. Let me crap. Hold on. Let me back that out. Let me back that out. That one has to stay. So olive oil I didn't change. Co coconut oil is Mayan. Uh, I'm just going to... I'm just going to grab the whole thing. I changed the wrong one. All right, olive oil stains. Coconut oil. HUD. I'm going to change the whole thing out. I'm going to change the whole thing out there. I'm going to change the whole thing out here. So you are going to become HUD fill coconut oil. You are going to become HUD fill peanut oil. So now you have to build our HUDs. We need a coconut oil HUD and a peanut oil HUD. So let's go into mods HUD fill types. Let's grab sawdust. Doesn't matter. Let's cut that out of there. I do I have let me pull let me open up pallets a minute. So let me grab where's my coconut oil? Coconut oil. Let's grab Uh, let's copy that, paste it here. Let's go File, Save As, you're going to be Coconut Oil. All right, let's back that one out. And where's my peanut oil texture? Raisin peanut oil. So let's grab... This one may be a little bit tougher. We're going to end up with some peanuts in the picture. That's all right. Let's grab this. Now we'll throw it in here. Let's do a file, save as, you are going to become peanut oil. And we'll save that. So our HUDs are built, our fill type is done. Now we have to add it, our our pallets have to be added into the store. So we have coconut oil pallet and I should have a peanut oil pallet. So let's add two more pallets in here. Coconut oil. Peanut oil pallets. We have our two pallets registered. So coconut oil pallet, peanut oil pallet, they're both registered. Um, uh, 
um, sell points. Uh, placeable, selling station, generic. Let's open up the mini market and the supermarket. Do we want them out to the bowling alley so they can oil their lanes? <laughs> let's open up the bowling alley a minute. All right, let's go into the mini market. All right, so we should already have our mini market does not carry the oils. Let's go into the supermarket. Supermarket should carry everything. We'll start here. Yeah, it already has our oils in here. So let me make a space. And let's grab olive oil. And then let's rename it coconut. And then let's throw one more in, and we'll call it peanut. So we'll have our two new oils in the store. So coconut oil, peanut oil. There. And then down here, where's our other oils? over here. Let's go. Uh, So you're going to be coconut oil, you're going to be peanut oil. Right, so we have our two new oils added into this one cell point. I'll save that. All right, so that's the supermarket. So let's, what do we have in the mini market? Do we have any of the oils in the mini market? We have the sunflower oil, the canola oil, the olive oil. Let's add in canola oil. Nope. Let's add in coconut oil, peanut oil. Let me copy those to here. And then I need to copy these. To here. Where's the rest of my oils? And let's drop the price a little bit. So you get that price difference when you go to sell it. And then let's grab, what do we have in the bowl? The bowl and alley I put in is a placeholder. Right now the only thing it has is plastic. Let's throw in all of the oils. So sunflower oil, canola oil, oil, peanut oil. One, two, three, four, five. Let's copy those over to here. And then let's copy one, two, three, four, one, two, yeah, let's copy these. into here. Bring the price up a little bit. All right, so we have the new product added into the map. We have it added into the cell point. We have our pallets built. We have our fill types built. We have our HUDs built. Everything is registered. We should now be able to 
test the oil press. So I think we're finally done with it. So we have, scroll up to the top, oil press, PNG is done, I3D is done. We have our product going into sunflower oil, canola oil, olive oil, and we're adding coconut oil and peanut oil too, and we sped up the factory. And we're storing everything. So let's save that. We have everything into our inputs, and then our pallet spawner should spawn our pallets out. All right, let's zip this up. Uh, so let me copy and paste. Uh, give me one second, I'll be right back. I just need to check on the crock pot. Alright, so the chicken was still frozen this morning, so I started it off on high. I just needed to turn it down to low. Now that it's not frozen anymore. Alright, so the oil press. Let's jump in the game. Oh, we have to add them into our warehouse. So back to pallet storage. Uh, let's get out of here. Let's go find our pallet storage. We need to add our two new oils in. I want to add, let's add them up here underneath the other oils. Yep, so let's take, let's make a space here. So let's go one and two. So this one goes to coconut, coconut oil. This one goes to coconut. couldn't find it. This one goes to coconut. Alright, so we have coconut oil, coconut oil, coconut oil, and coconut oil. This one becomes peanut. Become peanut. And you become peanut. And then we ha so we had if we added them there, we have to add them down here. Where's my oils? Over here. So let's grab olive oil. Let's copy it. And I need two of them, so I might as well just put two of them in. So this one gets changed to coconut. And then this one gets changed to peanut. Ow. Where were they? Ah, uh, here. 
So coconut oil, peanut oil. Let's copy those down to here. And here. And here. And then we have to add them down here. Let's put them up here by the other oils. So let's take this one. We'll make it coconut. And we'll take this one. We'll make it peanut. Take this, pull it back. Oh, didn't want to do that. Save that. Okay, so we have our coconut oil and our peanut oil added into our pallet warehouse. What did I mess up? Hold on, let me back that out because I messed something up. Where's the other oils? Sunflower oil, canola oil, oil olive oil. Okay, I did that right. Peanut, coconut. Peanut. Okay, I just thought, thought I messed that up there for a second. Let me save that. All right, so we have our pick, we have our two new oils added to the pallet storage. So let me delete that, and zip this back up. And let me copy and paste. So now we can test the updated pallet storage, and the new oil press. As soon as these tests out fine and there's no errors in the log, I'm going to get out of here for the day. I know Dixie wants to, to um, stream, so I'm going to get out of here for the day as soon as we get these um, tested. Save game four. We should have a new oil press. Right there. Let's hope it's error free. I am going to sit back and play a little bit of vintage story off camera. All right, so shift three is going to get us my speed mod. Let's jump back here where all the other factories are. Oh, right here. I, am I back by the church? No, I'm not back by the church. Now we're back by the church. We should have a new oil press. Construction, production. oil press. Let me turn my camera around. So let's get this over here. What does she look like? She, she actually looks pretty good. like it much better than that in-game gray. Alright, let's get in here. We should have, okay, sunflower oil, canola oil, olive oil, coconut oil, peanut oil. I'm going to leave them on storing so the pallets spawn out. Let's activate these. And then we need peanuts. Everything should, except for plastic. So let's, oh, I don't have any plastic made. I don't have any plastic made to test this. I don't have an oil refinery running on this map because I lost my test map and I had to restart. All right, I know what I can do. I'm going to cheat it in, but I'm not going to show you how to cheat it in. <laughs> don't be mad at me. I'll throw you all and be right back. Hold on. I'm going to cheat some plastic in. 
oh, we're never going to be able to test this. I'm going to cheat some pallets in. I'm going to cheat some plastic in. I just need to find them. Just bear with me. Let um, me cheat some pallets in. The trigger's not taking the pallets. The trigger's not taking the pallets. Alright, let me throw you all. <laughs> oh, is it taking the pallets? Hang on. It's not taking the pallets. They're just sitting there. All right, so let me hang on. Let me get out of here. Let's check. The, let's let me back up my steps and see what I did wrong. Let me put you back on window. I've been teaching old man my bad habits and shortcuts. It won't take the pallets. It won't take the pallets. Let's see what I did wrong. Let's check the log for errors. Yeah, I don't have the mill run, and I don't I don't have Mammoth Mill. I don't have the uh, oil refinery running on on my test map because the last update I had a I lost my test map. So let's check the log and see if it's throwing any errors. No errors with the map, no errors with the factory. What did I do wrong? Let's go back to the oil press. We have, I added pallets in. I added, ah, oh, I forgot to add, oh, we have, yeah, we have pallets there. Why will the trigger not take the pallets? Unless the pallets messed up. And I have to rebuild the pallet. I might have to lift the pallet off the ground a little bit. The pallet of pallets I may have to adjust. Let me see if it'll take... Oh, let me fix this. I was messing around with the uh, husbandry. Um, unknown fill type category piece. Let me fix that. I was messing around with um, trying to get a hen house working and I still can't get it working. So let me take this out of there. Alright, so the next update you will no longer see eggs too. Alright, let me jump back in here. If you don't want to see me cheat pallets and close your eyes, It's not throwing any errors. I just don't know why it won't take the uh, pallets of pallets. You need all the shortcuts when you're testing. Exactly. I don't have time to make uh, uh, pallets and plastic. Alright, so let me grab my speed mod. Let's jump back to where my church is. I got too many vehicles on them. I got to clean up my test map now. Uh, let's jump back here. So we should be making pallets. We're just not making plastic. You're making crates and pallets. We just don't have any plastic being made. Well, let's remedy that. We should have drill pipe being made. Since this is our test map, let's just go for it. All right, let's buy this guy. Let's buy this guy. Uh, 
down. So let's come down to our oil wells. Let's change this to distribute. Let's change this one to distribute. Um, we're going to have to manually dump some coal in there. Let's grab our refinery. grab the refinery. Uh, that's the biodiesel. I rebuilt the refinery. Did I not put it in my store? In my, I should have my mods folder. Refinery. Let's get the refinery down. Let's get the waterworks down as well. Let's take this and go distributing. All right, let's take this. I only want, yeah, let's just make it all. So distribute, distribute distribute, distribute, and then we're going to activate, activate, activate. Okay, so I'm going to need to dump I should only need to dump water. I should only need to dump coal in the oil wells. Let's grab our tipper. Should have one back here. I do. Let's add more coal to it. Oh, I do that every time. I hit fill and then I hit none. Let's just, because I don't have the coal mine running, so let's just manually run some coal over here. I had all these factories running. I had every single factory running before that last restart update. Plastic production needs to be sped up. Okay, so we can speed the plastic up a little bit. That'll have to be on the next map update. That should be good for testing. Let's throw this other load in here. And I think the diesel factory is going to need some 
no, so you're just straight up crude oil. You're just straight up crude oil. That's fine. Yeah, we can speed up plastic a bit. All right, so we should be good. So these should be running. We'll have to speed up time a little bit. Drill pipe, do we? Let me make sure Mammoth Mill's making drill pipe. And I'm not missing anything in here. All right, so it is making drill pipe. So we should now, let's speed up time a little bit. So this should start making, oh, there we go. So that's gonna start making crude oil. Let me go down to one speed. So that's gonna start making crude oil. It's gonna push the crude oil over here to make plastic. Uh, so you didn't get any crude oil yet. That's fine. So where's the oh? So the info trigger on here is going to need to be adjusted a little bit as well. I know it's going to get dark. I just want to make sure this is going to start making plastic. All right. So that's going to start making plastic. Let's go back to the oil press. I know it's dark in game. I'm going to change that here in a second. I'm just going to roll the night until it gets light, but I just want to make sure this has all the product it needs. And then I'll roll till it's daylight. Um, you are our grain mill. You are the sugar mill. Where the heck do I put the uh, new factory? All right, I'm lost already. Where the heck's the new factory? Did I not put it down? Did I not put the new factory down? Oh, I exited out without saving. So we don't have the new factory down. Don't mind me, I'm working on little sleep. All right, we are working on the oil press. Um, it's my test map, it doesn't really matter where it is. All right, let's take this one. We're gonna have to manually test these triggers too. I'm gonna leave them on storing, but I want to I want to activate these, and I'm gonna have to dump in. Um, well, let's dump in sunflower, canola, and olives. Sorry, I know it's dark. Just bear with me till I get all the fill types in here. You are not the right one. You are the one I need. Actually, I'm gonna roll the night and then that, it'll, that's why the refiner will have time to build up some plastic and then we'll get this running in the daylight where y'all can see it. And I gotta figure out why it wouldn't take the pallets of pallets. Let me get over here and we'll just roll the night. So let me go back to the house. 
so we can sleep tonight. So let's just go to 8 a.m. Now y'all can see. All right, so this should now have, it has a little bit of pallets, it has some plastic. Okay, so it has everything but coconut and peanut, and it's getting a little bit of coconut and peanut because our other factories, our other factories are running, but it hasn't spawned anything out. So I'm going to need to add in, what's it missing? It's missing, we can throw some sunflowers in, sunflower, I need sunflower and canola, I need sunflower and canola. So, canola and sunflower. And I'm blocking the pallet spawner. So throw a little bit of canola in. I'm not going to throw a full load in. Just enough to test it with. That should be good. Let's throw some sunflower in. I may have to move the pallet spawner on this building and make it bigger for those who are going to manually move product around. Uh, should be good for testing. Yeah, we're definitely not going to be able to get five different kinds of pallets out of this. So I'm going to we're going to have to move the pallet spawner on this factory. So what am I missing now? We should have. It's waiting on pallets. It's waiting on plastic. Everything is storing. Let's do a quick save. We're going to have to move the pallet spawner. Or we're not going to be able to get enough product out of the factory. So let's do two things really quick. Let's go into Uh, the map a second into placeables. Let's grab the refinery and let's look at plastic. And let's bump the plastic up. All right. So plastic's bumped up. Let's go into, let's open up the oil press. I want to make a couple of slight changes to it. Yeah, it's not going to be able to, there's not enough room now to pick up the pallets. Now if I move them around the building, we're going to have to put another AI node in. Which AI node are you? You are, so you're running this entire factory off of one AI node. That's for the drop off, that's fine. We can move the pallet spawner. So let's take the warning stripe. Let's pull it out. Let me duplicate it. And let's put another one there. So 
let's take the pallet spawner and let's put it pull it out here and we'll take the end and we'll pull it up to here and now we're going to have to add on to the level area and the clear area so let's pull the height out a little bit and then the same thing with the clear area width and height let's pull that out a little bit and save that I'm gonna leave that un I'm gonna leave that open for a minute let's delete that let's grab the oil press and we'll throw it in my mods folder Now, I'm going to have grass in where the sp I just moved the spawner to, but if you put a new factory down, you'll get concrete. Let's head back here. I gotta sell off all these extra vehicles and clean up my... Right, so the new pallet spawner should be moved out here. It is. So let's grab a little bit of landscaping. So if you put a new one down, you'll have more concrete. Uh, but let's grab a little bit of landscaping, a little bit of painting. Uh, give me like a, what are you, gravel, con or dark rock, where's my other building, where's the concrete, we not have concrete, dirt, that's where I'll just throw some dirt down, how do I make my thing bigger, M and N, there we go. Just so we have our no grass where our pallet spawners are. I may move this. I don't like it over here. Alright, now let's forward time and see if we can get one pallet of each out of here. So olive oil we have one. So hold on, let me take time back down. So olive oil, we have we should have one pallet. I'm gonna take that and change it to distributing. I want one of each pallet. Alright, back to one speed. We should have one of each pallet now. So let's take this one, distribute distribute, distribute, distribute. Alright, so we should have one of each pallet. So we should have our UR olive oil, UR canola oil, UR peanut oil, your sunflower oil, and you are coconut oil. Okay, so I gotta move those warning stripes so they're not overlapping. So our pallets will spawn out. Why would it not take a pallet of pallets? So let's try something. Let's come down here. This may be a mistake. <laughs> I want one pallet of pallets, I want pallet of plastic. So if we take our pallets, where's our plastic? Oh, this is going to be a mistake. So if we take plastic, I want one pallet spawned out. Change that back. I saw one spawn out. 
or maybe two spawned out. Where are where are our pallets? I want to spawn out at least one. Okay, so why would you not go into the trigger? Now, the problem is our plastic's not going to auto-load because it's an odd pallet, and our pallets are not going to auto-load because it's an odd pallet. So I'm going to need, let's grab my store delivery mod. Let's grab a forklift. Hold on. Okay, why will you not go? It doesn't like this pallet. It won't go in. It doesn't like this pallet. It won't drive under the pallet. This pallet of pallets are messed up. So I got to fix the I got to fix the pallet. Pallet, it's messed up. Will it let me pick up the plastic? All right, hold on. Okay, let me pick up the plastic. See if it'll take the plastic pallet. May have to rebuild the pallet of pallets. The pallets may be messed up. As soon as we get this tested, I'm going to get out of here, y'all. I'm just going to sit back and relax the rest of the day. I will probably not stream tomorrow. I'll probably just take tomorrow off. Let Dixie stream. I'm going to sit back and chill, and we'll start fresh on Monday. Now, I don't want to drive this into the trigger. I'm going to push it into the trigger to see if it's going to take it. If you come over with your auto load trailer and drop them on the ground. Oh, come on. Right, let's lift this up. Let's just push this into the trigger. And see if it'll take it. That trigger may need be may need to be adjusted. It's not going to take pallets. Oh, it's unloading. I got to up the unload speed on the plastic pallet. Okay, so it took the. Let's see if we can get under the um, pallet of pallets. It wouldn't let me into that pallet to lift it up. So there may be a collision, a weird collision that I missed. You know, once I get everything built, I'll play around with signs off camera. We'll get some unique signs on these factories as well. All right. Why will you not go in? Yeah, it's, there's like a dead stop right there. So it's not letting me in this pallet. Oh yeah, there's something wrong with that pallet. Alright, let's go look at the pallet of pallets. <laughs> Let me get this guy out of here in case I don't want this thing going flying across the map. So there's something wrong with the pallets of pallets. 
So let's save this. I know what I did. I upped the quantity, forgot to reduce the weight. So let's go into Richie's Creek uh, pallets. Let's look at the plastic pallet and see what the unload speed is. Yeah, I left that at 200. That needs to be 500. Did I take the weight down? I did not. Let me drop that to 15. All right, so that should fix the plastic pallets. Look at the pallet of pallets. Oh, yeah. Uh, that needs to come down to like 25. All right. That should fix that. So that'll be fixed on the next map update. Let's jump back in here. I should be able to move it now. So the pallet of pallets won't be fixed until the next map update. Because it's, they're built into the map. So let's jump back in here. And let's see if I can move that pallet around now. That's the first time I've tried to manually move the um, pallet of pallets. So let's go find our forklift. Alright, now I should be able to pick this up. These should have a lighter weight. Now the two that are on the map, I, I may not, they may not work because they were already spawned out. I may have to spawn two more pallets out. Because these two were already on the map. Alright, so hold on. Let's do this. Let's get them off the map. So let me go into... Farm Sim 22 Save Game 4 vehicles. Let me get those pallets of pallets off the map. Control find pallet. Okay, I don't want to touch the olive because I still want to move our oil pallets around. That's the extra plastic pallet. I'm going to delete that one. And then we have our pallet of pallets here. I'm going to delete that one. And we have our pallet of pallets. I'm going to delete that one save that so they're no longer on the map and let's jump back in here and let's spawn two more pallets out and see if they're fixed so back to save game four So the oil press is taking me a little bit longer to build than I expected. But I don't have anything else set up to um, build after that one. So that's probably a good thing. So Monday when we come back, we'll work on some more factories. Monday when we come back in, we'll work on the spinning mill, the tailor, the cereal factory, and the bakery. And we still have to do a juice factory. So we'll pick it up with one of those factories on Monday. Uh, jump back to our forklift. All right, let's see if we can't spawn out two more pallets of pallets. Or at least one pallet of pallet. All right, pallets, I'm gonna go store right back to distribute. So there's one pallet out. Let's jump back in here. Is it going to let me pick it up? Or is it still too heavy? So we don't have the uh, pallet uh, Papa Smurfs auto load truck yet set up for these. 
no, there's some kind of a there's some kind of a collision. It's not letting me into the pallet. So the collisions may be messed up on this pallet as well. It's still messed up. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's take the mass down to 10. Um, let's look at the collisions on that pallet. See if the collisions are messed up. Let me create a plane so I know where the bottom of the pallet is. Let's go down and look at the collisions. Make sure the collisions aren't messed up. Tension belt node is fine. A pallet attacher trigger is low enough. So that should be fine. You should not block the fork. You should not block the fork. You should not block the fork. Ah, uh, collisions are not messed up. It may have just be too heavy. So we took the weight down. Let's try that again. Can't pick it up this time. Then we may have to take the weight down a little bit further. Wish you a good weekend, old man. See you Monday. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, as soon as I get this pallet of pallets fixed and we test the other pallets, I'm going to get out of here. If not, I'll just fix. We'll just fix the pallet of pallets on Monday. I do want to f make sure that we can pick up all the oil pallets and drop them into the f warehouse. Alright, let's try that again. Let's spawn out one pallet of pallets. And if it doesn't work this time, I'm not going to mess with it. We'll fix it on Monday. So this should be, oh, that still said 120 ton. Yeah, we may, may have to take that number way down. It still may be too heavy. But I don't know why the forks won't go in. If it's still too, if it's too heavy, the forks should still go in. Yeah, there's something blocking the forks from going in. Yeah, there's definitely something blocking the forks from going in. It's like I hit a brick wall. Yeah. So there's still something messed up with this pallet. Um, I'm going to quit just so it's not on the map. I'll mess with that pallet. Not even a pallet four can lift a pallet. Hey, <laughs> that's funny. All right, uh, we're done with this. Let me close this. Let's jump back in here. I'm going to test just the oil pallets, and uh, I'll mess with the pallet of pallets. Uh, we'll, met, we'll monkey around with that on Monday. I don't know, there's some kind of weird collision there that's not letting me get under it. Uh, let's do one thing because it was still 120 tons. Let me try it. Let me just take it down. Let's take, just take it down to two for now. And then let's just take a quick, another quick peek at the collisions. And we'll test the oil first, and then we'll test the pallet of pallets last. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. 
So the trigger, the trigger's low enough. That shouldn't mess with anything. Uh, let me open up another pallet. Uh, let's open up, let me open up the plastic. I want to see what that first collision looks like. So the first collision This is a I can't go by this palette. It's it's a fillable palette. Um I need something similar to let me go to let me pull up my steel or the let me pull up the drill pipe. Going to be on the server, got lots of farming to do and filling up factories. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to get out of here as soon as I mess with. Give me like a couple more minutes, I'm going to get out of here. All right, so we have dynamic mount trigger. So the dynamic mount trigger, yes, the dynamic mount trigger has to be where it is. So the dynamic mount trigger here is the same as the pallet attacher trigger. So that's not messed up. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. These are going to be the rest of the stacks. So there's nothing messed up there. There's nothing messed up there. These are all the decals. Tension belt node may be too low. Let's take the tension belt node. Let's pull it up and let's make it a little bit smaller. Uh, let's try that. And then the discharge node should be fine. I'll uh, save that. And then this one, we should be fine. Cherokee is making sure what time Dixie is streaming. Give me a few more minutes, I'm getting out of here. This palette doesn't work this time. I'm, I'm not messing with it anymore today. Oh, good thing too, because my coffee cup's empty. It's never good when the coffee cup is empty. So I may have to run to the grocery store also and pick a few more things up so I can finish dinner. All right, let's grab, before I mess with that pallet of pallets, let's make sure our oil pallets are, are going to work. So let's change this to Euro pallets. Make sure this is going to work. Uh oh. Okay, perfect. So it's going to pick up all of the pallets. So we still have to fix it for the drill pipe, the steel, the pallets of pallets and stuff in the little boxes like the nails and the plastic. So there's this, it's gonna, 
I've got about a eight hour fix on this truck. Don't you dare. Darn it. Oh, and it's going to go all the way upside down. Nice. Nice job, old man. Just when I wanted to get out of here. Don't go back upside down. There we go. Let me turn super strength back off. It's only the sec. This is only I think the second time I've rolled the truck in uh, 22. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get under this trailer now. So that means some of the these pallets are now going to be too heavy. So now the oil pallets are too heavy. That's yeah okay. That's what the problem is. The oil pallets. I got to lighten the weight on the oil pallets now. A bit of fun at the end. I know, right? Let's check our let's check the weight on the oil pallets. So we I'm gonna leave the pallet of pallets open. I'm gonna open I'm gonna check all of the oil pallets. So let's jump back in here. Uh, so canola oil, mass is 15, oop, I missed that, I heard the bling but I missed it, I didn't see it, whatever that was, thank you very much, uh, I did not see it come up in my notifications, I do apologize, let's check the coconut oil, Let's check the corn oil. Do we have, no, we don't have, do we have corn oil? No, I did not make corn oil. Why do I have a corn oil pallet? Do we, hang on, do we have, where's my oil press? Sunflower canola. I may have worked ahead and made a corn oil pallet, but I don't need it. I'll delete that palette. Where's the rest of my oil? Uh, peanut oil. It's one all five XMLs open. Uh, sunflower oil. Do I have all five? One, two, three, four, five. Why do I have six now? Peanut oil. Oh, you're the I3D. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we have all five. Yeah, so the mass is messed up. These have to come down to 15. Actually, they can come down to 10. So that has to come down to 10. Oh, you're the I3D. So peanut oil is fixed. Coconut oil is fixed. Um, canola oil is fixed. Hang on. Peanut oil, 4,000 liters. 4,000 liters. Canola oil, 4,000 liters. Sunflower oil, 4,000 liters. Which one am I missing? Peanut, coconut, canola, sunflower. Olive. 
think I'm missing olive oil. Yep, so that's to come down to 10, and it's at 4,000 liters. Okay, so all of our oil palettes should now be fixed. He's been, yeah, yeah. thanks for the follow. The follow. I, I missed the name. I do apologize. I heard a bling, but I couldn't look at my screen quick enough. Our auto load truck, these pallets, I exited without saving, so these pallets should still be on the map. Let's test these first, and then we'll go back and test the, uh, ply, or the pallet of pallets. It's probably why this truck rolled over. These pallets were too heavy. Alright, so let's change it back to Euro pallets. Alright, so it's going to pick up all the new oils. Let's see if I can't get to the warehouse without rolling the truck over. Oh, don't you dare. It's still too heavy. Something's still too heavy on these pallets. So I'm going to go in and lower the mass a little bit more. Yeah, they're still a little bit too heavy. So I'm going to drop the mass down a little bit more. And I left them on. <laughs> I forgot to change it to distribute, so they're all going to pop them, their butts back out. That's pretty funny. Which ones did I miss? Where's all the oils? You need to go to distributing. You need to go to distributing. And let's throw these back in. And then we'll go in and we'll cut the weight down again and by half. Yeah, it's way too heavy. I could feel it like dr just dragging the truck down. All right, let's try the pallet of pallets one more time. If not, I'm going to take that weight way down on it as well. I can't figure out why it's not letting my forks under that pallet, but let's just try spawning one more out. And if not, I'm going to mess with this off camera. See if I had still hit a brick. If not, I'm just going to rebuild this pallet. Yeah, I'm hitting a brick wall. It's not letting me inside. Oh, yeah, it's not letting me inside of this pallet. I'm going to rebuild this pallet. There's something messed up with it. So I'm not going to mess with that anymore today. So I'm going to completely rebuild the pallet of pallets. Uh, it was uh, NIPPE 1965. Thank you. Thanks to you for the follow. Much appreciated. I'm going to throw you all on ending soon. I want Dixie to have some stream time in. Appreciate everybody stopping in. You all have an awesome rest of the weekend. I will not be back on until Monday. 
So everyone have an awesome weekend. The only thing we have to fix now is the pallet of pallet. So we have, so Mod Pack 3 is going to have the sugar factory, the grain mill, the oil press, and the drying mill. And then updated pallet storage. And updated maps. You're going to need a map update before, you're going to need a map update before Mod Pack 2 comes out. So probably some point midweek when I can test the rest of the pallets, um, there's going to be another map update. But everything will work with an existing save. Um, Dixie will be streaming in about an hour. Dixie, put your link into your oh, the link to your Twitch is there. Yep, jump on Dixie's Twitch um, channel. Give her a follow. But I'm going to get out of here. Y'all have an awesome weekend.